the best person for the job? Is it someone who fits in with the rest of the team, looks like the rest of the team, got the same sort of background, been in the same business for a long time, worked in the same department, does the same stuff? Perhaps. Or is it worth looking slightly off-piste? Look at some, maybe the wild card, someone who brings a new slant to the business, someone who has ex um, experiences in maybe other sectors, but in a similar sort of line. I've just finished Matthew Syed's uh, Rebel Ideas, and it's fantastic. Best thing I've got my ears around. In fact, I lied, I didn't just finish it. I finished it, I finished it a couple of days ago, but it was so good I had to go back in and get my ears around chapter one again goes around talks about diversity but diversity of thinking diversity of adding different mindsets into a team diversity of looking outside the box diversity of us probably all doing those things that we say we're going to do stop playing lip service and looking at diversity as a kind of a a, a demographic challenge um, which we've got a moral obligation to sort. But look at the innovation that a diverse team can bring to your table. He refers to two great examples. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you what you are, what they are because I'd really like you to get your ears around it. But two great examples. One example that if there'd been more diversity of thinking in the team tackling that project, that incident may not have happened. And that's in chapter one. So if you only listen to that or read that, that's great. And he refers to another situation where because they had diversity of thinking in the team, um, a mix of experiences, they were able to solve a situation that probably changed the, the world forever. So Matthew Syed's book, Rebel Thinking, well worth getting your ease around. Just stop, think, look at things differently. If we always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got. I think that's right. Just think differently.